Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back. I'm just uh, doing another watercolor pen doodle. I uh, posted the, the pictures of these on Instagram and it seemed like a lot of people actually enjoyed these, so that's kind of motivating me to actually turn these into videos more so than usual. So thank you guys for liking the, the pictures. Uh, in this picture, I'm going with the color green and I actually captured the application of the watercolor on the paper this time, unlike last time, because uh, uh, I actually was playing on making this a video. Again, I'm focusing on you know making shadows with a lot of dots and lines, but mostly dots. The uh, I was trying to do some you know line work in this drawing, but I kind of caked the watercolor uh, a, a bit too thick on this and I'm not even using watercolor paper so that makes all the matters uh, a bit worse. <laughs> I should probably get some watercolor paper but it's fine for what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm trying to make a like a, a shadow. I'm not sure if it actually worked but you know I kind of outlined the top of this thing here with a bunch of dots to give it some uh, depth but mm, perhaps it went a little overboard. I really like just creating these random gaps in the uh, picture up here. Like I just made that random opening, a few a few holes, and I was able to make it look like they were actually there. I mean, it was faintly, but I like this effect of so slowly bringing this image out from just this blob of paint, and it's kind of neat to watch the transition happen from like purely just a flat brushed over watercolor to you know a pen, a doodle that kind of has some depth, has some defined lines. Some cool details. Uh, kind of add these weird, uh, you know, branches with these stones connected to them. Kind of give it this like creepy feel, I suppose. And uh, yeah, as as I was saying before, when I was trying to do this like line work, shading with uh, making lines, I was like scraping off pieces of watercolor, which was kind of funny. So I I had to kind of brush it, brush it off to make it less dusty and here here's the final image very uh, it's very nice I think I like it a lot we have a few separate parts of it there's this first you know big piece followed with the second piece behind it which was uh, I like how it all it's kind of like falling apart and it's there's pieces missing and it's very um, organic looking and it looks like a this whole image kind of looks like a tree, I think. Yeah, like a like a moss mossy tree, or like it's going into like a, a dark forest almost. I love the subtle background, especially on the right. You kind of like you just feel like I can, or I feel like I can just kind of like look into it a little bit and expect to find something behind it, um, which is you know nice. I'm definitely pleased with the color choices. The uh, green, yellow, to like white, it's uh, colors that work really well together. <laughs> Get that. Another thing I really like about doing these doodles, it's uh, trying to find that balance of when the picture is going to be done or not, because I could easily have continued. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.